G'day everyone, bit of an update on the Troopy. As you see, source manifold's off and broken stud in the head down there. Uh, had a had a blown gasket between the turbo flange and the exhaust manifold. So pulled that off to fix it, then saw a, a crack in the actual exhaust manifold. So in the process of pulling that off, the very first stud snapped. So I've got to fix that. Um, in the process of getting a new manifold, or a second hand one to put on for now. So travels are a little bit limited in the next, um, I don't know, should be going sometime this week, hopefully, but got the son, Jake, giving me a good hand doing it. So hopefully all under control and we'll be back out chasing old tin barn finds, etc. in the meantime. Just traveled up to work. I'm told there might be a Exhaust manifold on an old motor up here. Hopefully, there's one on there. I'll climb up and have a look. Apparently, this is a old motor. Yeah, all blown up, 18Z. So let's have a look and see what we can find. Radio. We have success. No cracks in this one. Uh, I'll still have to put a straight edge on it, but gaskets all looked good, like it wasn't leaking. So fair chance it's uh, nice and straight. Well worth the hour, forty-five minute drive up here. So I'll uh, get this one home, and hopefully we'll be good to go. tackle this broken stud in the troopy. We've got a replacement exhaust manifold now. I uh, just need to get this drilled out. Um, then I'll re-tap all the threads, clean them out. Hopefully get it back together. Um, first things first, get rid of this dirty stud. I'm working under torch lighters. I've got no power in this shed yet. Unfortunately, so you get that. Rightio. First thing we need to do is measure the depth of the holes where the studs go. So, use anything you want. You can just poke that in. That gives you your total depth. It's marked out with a fingernail. So, if you see that, that's how deep we're allowed to go. So then we have a look at that on the drill. Fair way up. Almost all of it out there. I'll uh, grab a pen marker. I'll mark that or even put a little cable tie on it. And then we'll um, know how deep we can go. Righto. Here we go. We'll just center punch, which is it's hard to get the light in there. Painted the end of the drill bit white so that I can see, use that as a depth gauge. Yeah, use it as a little start. Now I'll get this little guide so that you can jam it up the drill bit just to get the whole 
centered. Turn the compressor back on. Actually, hit up a bit there. Check depth. Yep. Paint in the right spot. little magnets really good getting a swarf out I can that almost come if I look locked in a small Just using a small worth stud remover and normally you tap these in with a hammer into the hole to get it out but I felt that one move as I was drilling and it's loosened it so that's actually going to work. Try and get a better move some lighting. See, I'm actually in the hole that I've drilled. Uh, it's come that far and stopped. Tap. I'll give it a little tap. Just to firm it, firm it up into the stud. This little Bit that holds it. Push him all the way on and lock on. Oh, it's got to there and it's sort of tight. Just grab the spanner to fix that.
Looking good. There we have one broken stud. Yeah, I just have to remove that, but it's just a wor little worth stud broken stud removal kit. And that's just came out rather textbook, really, for how they say it works. So, next up is I'll uh, run a tap through all those threads, tidy them up, and start putting back together. Do this with all of them. I'm just going to sandblast the studs and nuts now that I've got them all separated. Because I couldn't get any studs in stock in town, I decided to reuse what I could. So that's why I decided to sandblast. Then I went over them with a thread chaser and got them up to scratch again to reuse. So it saved me four or five days waiting on new ones. And especially with the bad weather we've had coming in, I wanted to get back on the road before it was piss and rain. Yeah, I'm just using a thread chaser to clean up the holes. It was a bit tight using the tap um, with the tap handle. So thread chaser like that line him up screw him in any resistance at all I'll just put the spanner on and use the spanner backwards and forwards a few times just cleans out any rubbish makes you know you've definitely got clean threads to be going back into Need, need your threads clean so when you're doing any torque settings there's no false resistance as such and just helps make things go a bit smoother it takes a little bit longer but it, uh, it's worth the effort I believe
Melissa through each hole twice now uh, just to make sure everything will be hunky dory second time round you can go full, full depth just with your fingers even though it's pretty slippery all the way in bottoms out come back out that way we know the stud will go in nice now I'll, uh, I'll just run a nut over these studs that are still in because yeah, ones that didn't come out I'll just leave them in there's only three there so run a nut over them to make sure the nut will go up nice Picked out nine studs. I'll get some uh, good old Andy C's. Plonk a bit on. And uh, screw them in. A fair bit on that one. I'll pinch a bit off. Put on the next one. Hopefully, if hopefully I never have to get them out again, but if I do, let's just hope that this anti sees is still there and does its job. Good old Annie sees it can uh, such a simple step a lot of people overlook. Jeez, it can save you some drama. I reckon the uh, mining industry has accounted for a lot of a lot of Annie sees in people's sheds over the years. Gotta be. Gotta be happy about that. And there, we'll just nip up a little bit. We are all back together. I haven't put the heat guard on just to make sure it's good for the retention. It's absolutely pissing rain. Got it finished last night, uh, Wednesday night, just in time for all this crap weather. And unfortunately, when I thought I pressed record refitting it, I actually just took a photo. So I actually missed all the going back together, but I've done 30 Ks in it today. Did a test drive. And uh, so far so good. Trippy is back on the road.